Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to put all the little drawers together. You're going to be amazed at how fast and simple it is. Um, this is the outside box for the drawer, and this is the drawer. So this just has the little uh, whole, the little ring grommet on it, so that's how you know this is the drawer. This one has the little metal tabs at the end, and that's how you know this is the box. So to fold the box together, what you want to do is you want to fold on all the score lines first. And that's going to give you a nice square shape to the box rather than trying to fold it as you go. So just take a moment and fold all your score lines first. So you're going to get a nice square box to start with even your little tabs. So if you've used our fab files or anything like that, same kind of tab system. So this is the end of the box, the back of the box, this weird like top part. I'm going to fold the, I'm going to do the tabs first. Same process as, you know, like our fab files. Put them in at kind of an angle and then just push them through. So you've got three tabs. You're just going to put it in an angle and pop it through. So that's all put together. And then I'm going to go to the end, and I'm going, going to fold in the short tabs first. And then I'm going to fold in the tab that has the little square hole in it. Then that goes in. And then this weird kind of funky round tab also has a little crescent cut. I don't know how much you can see. You're going to tuck in the crescent cut first, right? So I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I tuck the crescent cut in first. And then I'm going to roll up the round tab. I'm just going to kind of push it back with my finger, and I'm going to pop it in like that. So that closes up the end of your drawer box, right? You've got these two little tabs. Let me push this one out. You've got these two weird little tabs that are going to come out on the bottom, and those are the tabs you're going to use to connect the whole system together. So. Um, in two of the small boxes, you're going to push the little tabs out, or actually three of them. You're going to push the little tabs out, and you're going to use those to connect from piece to piece. Okay, then the drawer is super simple as well. You're going to follow the same process. Now, you put, if you put the smooth side on the inside, right, and then the rigid, or the one with the texture on the outside, everything on the inside is going to slide around a little bit easier for you. Again, you're just going to fold the little, we'll call them ear tabs down, get a nice corner going on everything, and then just pop those little tabs into the slits, just like on the rest of... Alright, so now I've got my little drawer. It's going to fit right into the box, right? And then now I'm going to connect them together. So you're getting right the three, the four small drawers, a medium and a large. And I'm going to stack the three of these together. And to make them hook together, I'm just going to take this tab and I'm going to hook it into the hole, the little slit, kind of just like I did on the back. And then I'm going to bend the round one. So I'm hook, I'm putting the crescent cut in first, and then I'm going to bend the round one down into the hole. And I wanted to share with you something, right? Um, the plastic is a little bit stiff. So if you have a little bit of arthritis or it's hard for you to manipulate that, grab your needle nose pliers, or I guess that's what these are. These are jewelry pliers. And you can just tuck that in using your pliers. And it's a little bit easier if it's tough on your fingers to tuck that um, flap in. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And now I've got this stack of three boxes all hooked together. Now you can configure the boxes any way that you want, right? That's totally up to you. Once you get them all assembled, now I want mine, I'm putting mine together so they're going to fit in my cube system, my cube storage system. And you'll notice on the top here, there are these little links that look like they have arrows at both ends. Looks like this. And that is how you fasten the, two, the sets of boxes together. So you want to put them on the bottom and also on the top, wherever you can. right? So I'm going to put these two together like this. I'm going to start on the bottom. When you're working with the bottom drawers, it's easiest if you pull the drawers out before you slide the tabs into the slots on the bottom.
So I'm just going to pop that in and then I'm going to slide, I'm going to use my pliers again and I'm going to slide the other part, the other rounded part of the arrow into the slit on the other side. Now, if you have strong fingers, you can just bend these into the slit. The pliers are just fast and easy for me. So there I've got the arrows in. I'm going to do another one on this side. Tuck it in this way. Tuck this into the slot this way. And then once you get them all tucked in like that, and that's what's going to hold them together and square them up. So now I'm going to do the ones on the top. Same procedure. So you're also getting these nice little white corners, and those are going to help, see if I can do it backwards here, those are going to help square up your drawers as well. Now I'm going to recommend that you put a little bit of adhesive on there when you're ready to kind of finalize how you're going to, how you're going to configure them, and um, that'll just help those little corners stay in place. They're pretty simple. I mean, even if they do pop off, they're going to pop right back. Okay. I'm going to tuck this one in and then. You can kind of slide the arrow over so that the round parts are through the slit evenly because they're going to start off. Not even. Right. So now I've got my boxes all hooked together. Look at that. Is it so cute? I've got all these little handy dandy drawers. You can get as an accessory, you can get the, um, a little pack of fold together boxes. These are your bits and bobs drawer liner. So these boxes just fold together just like everything else. So I said that. I told you a dozen times, right? Fold your score lines first, and then I didn't do it. Fold your score lines first, and then assemble your small boxes. And these are designed to um, fit in this, what we're calling drawer number one, the small skinny drawer. But you could use them in the deeper drawers if you wanted to, to just kind of segment off those deeper drawers. So in the set, you are going to get all these adorable little boxes. So there's three sizes. There's a long skinny size, and then there are, there's a one with a hole in it, and then there's this little guy as well. And they all just fit perfectly into the drawer. So you want to start the one with a circle. Uh, the hole cut in, get, goes in there and lines up against the hole, and that, so the finger hole will still work. So now you've se segmented this off. So whether you're putting in there um, embroidery floss that's in the long skein, or embroidery floss that's wrapped around a card, or needles, or pins, or buttons, or any small thing like that that you're trying to keep segmented and organized, these little drawer dividers are going to be a perfect accessory to your bits and bobs drawer set. And those are just a little add-on set. You can see how nicely they just cube out into that drawer and just tuck them in, right? So now you've got all these little sections in there for organizing your supplies. So once you get them all, all the boxes together, then you can start loading them up.